everybody, welcome back to the Family Rock Podcast. I'm Chris. Yeah, I'm Jay. Welcome, welcome back. back. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our new patrons, Matthew, Andrew, and our new sibling, Indar. Thank you so much for being our new patrons. And we also like to write a wrong real quick. Last week we said, Salissa, it's not Salissa, it's Salika. We apologize for pronouncing your name wrong. Um... Mers really wanted to clarify that because he has had his name incorrectly pronounced his entire life. <laughs> so he wanted to write that wrong, which I feel it, man. Yeah, if, man. Yeah. If you always have your, you know, your name messed up, you want people to say it right. Yep. How do people say it? Um, just it really my last name. They always oh, say like, bro, say I hate it. Weird. Yeah, they put a Q in there. They put a Q. Yeah, Square. Put a Q. They put or, a QR code in there. <laughs> I mean, the announcer for his fight was like S Guerrero. Like, yeah, he, that's true. He, you know what I mean? Eddie Guerrero fan. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I guess if you've never seen those combination of letters, it's kind of it's, it's daunting to say. Even though yeah. to us, it's like it seems normal to say S Guerra. Yeah. But to the untrained eye, Escuero is the closest you can get. <laughs> yeah, Escuero. That's all they get it from me. Escuero. It sounds like fucking. a fucking co- type of company. At least the it Yale's covered be. it up. What? I said at least the Yale's covered it up. Yeah, that's okay. true. Nobody yeah. heard what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... So sign up for the Patreon if you want to get some exclusive content and access to the best Discord in the game. Patreon.com slash FamilyMartPod. We also got some merch familyartpod.com we have some tote bags i know we say this every time we talk about the tote bags but we literally only have a few left yeah it's Um, getting fewer and fewer fewer and fewer so thank you to everybody that has purchased one we appreciate the support and we're excited to make more merch um yes i'm excited to continue using the bag my bags are still a little brand new so i gotta wear them in a little bit yeah i gotta i gotta put them through some use yeah, you need to put the the mileage and the battle damage. Yeah. Mine is like yeah. broken in. It's fucking. Yeah, it's I see you with right, the dude. little timepiece, bro. Oh, yeah, you you want to talk about piece? you want to talk about your watch that you can't read? I'm kidding. <laughs> oh damn, that's right. Damn, <laughs> I have this new little. Maybe you guys haven't heard of it yet. Casio. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, is, I think Casio. she was dating Diddy at some point. Oh yeah, she did that song, "Me and You." Yeah. <laughs> Me and you. Hey, um, I got a little little Casio. Uh, I actually was uh influenced from my tiktok fyp mm, so uh. recommendation things they work guys okay yeah how much so, was it uh 59.99 oh, before that's tax that's beautiful Sick. let's go from dude. the jeff bezos app and i liked it because i well one it's mainly how it looks but it also has the analog time uh. and the digital time mm, yeah and yeah. i thought I didn't know that this was going to happen, but I don't look at the analog at all. Yeah. The numbers are right there yeah. right. Right. in military time for me. It's cool, man. It's also water resistant. So um, when I go to the beach, it's yeah. it's fine. Have you taken it to the beach yet? We did, actually. Oh, you took oh. it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's yeah. a great segue. We went to Riverside the other day. Riverside? Yeah. Um, well, we went to uh, Orange County and Riverside. We went to Orange County to visit some fellow patrons. Shout out to Hooch and Leche. Yep. Um, they, well, I guess Hooch doesn't live over there, but we went over there to, to meet up with them and have a good time. And um, that's what we did last weekend. We took a little quick trip, which was really nice, man. Yeah. Um, it's just nice to travel with everyone again. It was nice to be on a plane with everybody because, I mean, anything we do is fun. Yeah. But for some reason, specifically, being on a plane with everyone, is it's fucking funny. It is funny. Right? Especially because it's like early in the morning. Yeah. Right. That's when the laughy vibes are through the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. That's where you guys make deals on who can eat the most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wish we were all in the same row. That would have been way better. Because yeah. then it would have been a it would have been a hoot and a half. Uh, yeah, I feel like you guys wouldn't have let me sleep. <clears throat> oh, you slept on the flight? I instantly fell asleep the moment I sat down. Yeah, me too. Dang. The moment Damn. we... Actually, no. I, I was that... Actually, yeah, yeah, it was on the way there. I fell asleep as soon before we even took off. I yeah. fell asleep. Like you sent a text, like, "Hey, look! If you get this, look up to see if you could see me." And then I fell asleep. Right, because it was Damn. a picture of you, right? I took a picture of you, and it was like, "Oh yeah, it was super funny." For some no, reason. it was it was a picture of an alien. Oh, oh yeah, the alien. Dad. Dad. Yeah, down, bro. Alien. Your dad. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So we got there. Jay got his first rental car ever congratulations on that. Yeah, that's my first time. I didn't know what to expect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, You're growing up, dude. Yeah. You guys all have checked out your own rentals before, right? Yeah. You even yeah. yet? Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. Well, anyways, we got to, um, what airport is this? Jean Wayne. Jean Wayne, yep. We got to Jean Wayne Airport, and I'm filing the signs to get to the rental cars, and it says to keep going one way, to go up these stairs, hit a left, and you get to the rental car counters, and then none of them are open. And then on the sign, the little sign on the desk, it says, please head across the street and then go downstairs. So I'm bust another mission, go through... Uh, 
the traffic and you go down these basement stairs and you end up in a random garage and then I had to make my way all the way down to th- because they're the cheapest. Actually, you know what? I'm not bleep that. I don't want to say their name Damn. <laughs> Damn, go to, let's the, get it. to the rental car and, uh, and let me know if this is a, a finesse or this was an actual scenario that I ran, I ran through. I pull up to the guy and I'm like, Hey, here's my ID. Here's my rent, rental reservation and all this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He, he goes, okay. Uh, depending on the car that you got, there might be a wait. So I'm like, oh, wow. <sighs> so mm. I let it rest for a little bit. He's typing in, he's, he's chicken uh, pecking the keyboard because he doesn't know how to use QWERTY system. Yeah. And <clears throat> so I stop him. I'm like, okay, j- how long's the wait? Yeah. He's like 40 minutes. Oh, shit. I was like, hell Fuck. no. What's the next upgrade? Yeah. He's like, well, I have an EV ready for you right now if you want. Oh, hell yeah. And then I was like, okay, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. So it was like an extra 50 bucks. Mm, for the EV. For the EV. Okay, that's so, why I was wondering mm. why you had the EV. So you think he was like trying to set me up for the- for Upsell? The, yeah, for the upsell. Mm, Could be. Man. I think so. I don't know. I've never gotten God with that before. Like the, he got hit with a 40 minute wait. Like you already had the reservation. Yeah. Like well, why, we got why hit is with it? it in Denver. Remember? <clears throat> Oh, he did. But they they were saying like, "Yo, you need you need a four wheel drive" because he heard us. Oh, so it's different. It's he, not that their car wasn't. Yeah, ready. but he put us in a Jag. Oh, it was all wheel drive though. Right. He's like, "This is the only one I got." <laughs> I don't think it was <laughs> a fucking <laughs> Jag. I, I don't think it was a finesse. extra hundred bucks. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, X hundred. Well, regardless, you got the EV. What's your experience on the EV? First time driving an EV. First car. First time driving an EV. It was really smooth, and uh, everything inside was look is much more spacious it's designed well there's a lot more space for storage especially right next to you as a driver there was a wireless charging pad that was so nice to have for my uh phone because i didn't bring a charger nice um the f- drive itself was i already said it was smooth but it the car was very responsive it was fast and the brake was super sensitive that i had to get used to and uh it was pretty cool man it made me think like okay the next car definitely has to be ev i know it was okay. like already yeah probably like already a, a thought i was having but like that solidified it the yeah. next car as in like the next car you rent or the next car you get the next car i get oh wow the trip about ev cars is that like that shit got no gears it's just straight fast yeah there zero, was like yeah zero to like 80 no hell shifting quick. no yeah. shifting that shit was crazy oh really i didn't notice yeah. that is, was it no like shift. that in eldrace car yep. you, i don't know i didn't even notice same that exact way wow. just zero to whatever the fuck you want no gears you just go straight to just it. Just straight to it, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's fucking sick. And like, sick, if you're dude. at a full stop, yeah, <clears throat> and you let go of the brake, it doesn't go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. like, it doesn't start rolling. Oh, yeah, you have to press on the gas in order for it to yeah, go. Yeah, there's no stop. roll. Yeah. Whoa. Interesting. So I was like, okay, this is weird. Yeah. This is different. It was cool. The seats itself um, had AC on it, or I don't know. I'm trying to say. They they cooled. They had cooling oh, wow. seats instead of heated cooling. seats. Wow. Yeah, but the thing you ran into, I guess, towards the end of the trip, which is why I guess it would be like a deterrent, was the the fact that you had to charge yeah. before you even could hang out because you had to return the car later. Yeah. So, as with any new technology, uh, cities and stuff aren't adapted well to it yet. So it was hard to find like a proper charging station. Even though on Google and Apple Maps it said there's charging stations left and right to us, couldn't find one that worked. And up, so they, they, they didn't, you didn't find one that worked or you just didn't find any available. The first one didn't, wasn't even there. Damn. We drove in circles. <laughs> Germ even went on foot to go check. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it wasn't yeah. there. There wasn't none there. Yeah. The second one belonged to the hotel, so I wasn't able to use mm. it. Oh, wow. Okay. Then the third one, we took a long time to figure out like where to even plug it in. Got the manual out and everything. Germ was on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then we get it going and then I try to pay and then it said, this terminal is no longer working. So it's yeah, a pain no in the ways. ass. It's a pain in the ass. So. Yeah. yeah. Was it, is, so that aside, is it still worth it? It's worth it. Uh, it's probably worth it if you're in California. Yeah. Cause yeah. we were driving a lot, but Becky's car didn't even, we didn't even have to stop for gas in Becky's car, which was nice. No. Nah, I mean, right? cause she picked us up. We drove everywhere that Jay went and still didn't have to, and still didn't have to fill up. I'm, I'm not trying to say like, I didn't have yeah. no battery left either. I still had like 50. Oh, yeah. okay. You were just doing it because you had to return. Yeah, because I had to return. I didn't want to get hit with the extra. Uh, yeah. Which you yeah, did, right? Just, you got hit with the extra? I don't know. You have to check my, my balance. Oh, I thought it was completely empty. Nah. Oh, okay. Well, then let's get it then. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. I uh, thought it was dead. That's why you had to go and charge. 
Nah, he had fifty crazy. left. Wow, that's yeah. just that would have took you to the airport. I think I think what Jay is saying the big um, deterrent is is the fact that there's not enough charging stations. Yeah, to make it adequate for you to charge wherever, at least not in Riverside. <laughs> yeah, because there's you know even if that means there's also other people with EVs that also need to charge. So it just might take a while because yeah. they take what hours on end to get any real charge going, right? Yeah. So that means people are going to be leaving their cars for a minute versus like a gas station. You're there for like five minutes at most. Yeah, yeah it's true. Unless you go to a Tesla supercharger, which I, I don't have any experience with Teslas. I've never driven one, but with people that are close to us and their experience with Tesla charge, uh, superchargers, like it charges in like maybe 30, 40 minutes yeah. for a full charge. Still a long time. It's still, still a long time. time. It's, still, yeah, it's still a long time. Yeah. yeah. And what we were also trying to figure out, me and Jeremy was like, and Jess was like, <clears throat> are we are we cool to leave the car here charging and we could like walk away and come back or like what happens? Yeah, Someone else charges their that. phone. Or their, <laughs> their phone. <laughs> they take it out. Yeah. yeah they based take it out, charge the, their car. Based off the videos I watched. Yeah, you can, but you have to, you got to mess with the settings a little bit. It's hella weird. Yeah. It just know. wasn't enough for a rental to like do all that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Some I, of the, I think bad. if I already went into it thinking like, I'm not going to worry about charging and I'll just charge it to the game. Then cool. Then I would have had more time to hang out. Yeah. But true. because I already th- decided like oh, let me try to save the money but yeah and it wasn't even worth it yeah well at least you had got to experience it man yeah, yeah i wish you guys got to drive it it was pretty fun yeah, yeah. it was like a video game it's like not bad. even close to a, a really yeah jess even drove it too yeah and she mm-hmm. was like oh this yeah, is she cool. was tripping out <laughs> and then uh because like coming back here and driving my car which is like as manual as it gets it's co- complete different experience yeah that's I'm sure. crazy yeah, yeah going from EV. everything You're, yeah yeah. You're in there like this, like yeah, I'm, I'm, over there fucking I'm sea walking in the whip <laughs> yes. with a with a cane. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, man. So we got the EV and then we went to the beach, um, which was nice. I haven't been to the beach in a really long time. Germ was saying that he like the whole time he was like, "I'm gonna get in the water. I'm gonna get in the yeah. water. I'm gonna get in the water." I said, "I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna be in that fucking cold ass water." Yeah. He said, "I I like the water cold." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Hell> nah. <laughs> well, I, he I, got a I, taste I, look, of it. <laughs> look, I was down and hop in. It was just the fact that i didn't want to be saying like you guys really got in my head yo you're gonna be hella sandy you're gonna be hella sandy and i'm like bro right. i don't want to be hella i don't want to be hella sandy i'd be down to hop in if it was like a like regular ass chlorine pool yeah. oh yeah i'll just day. be i'll just be chlorined up and if it yeah. was just as cold i'd be Fuck, down even, i don't like that feeling either though being chlorined up yeah like it's in your hair yeah but better than being sandy and you're getting the car all sandy and then yeah. you're in like nice clothes and you're meeting with new people and shit so you kind of want to like present yourself in a good way so yeah yeah that'd be sandy cheeks yeah you'd be the sand man i would have been way more down to jump in with you had there just been showers nearby yeah, yeah. that was another thing the showers were like two miles it was far <laughs> I, I walked to the shower Damn. For real? So yeah, I had, I had to use a bathroom. That's where you got the frutas? Yeah, they was all in this one area. And um, the showers, though, they had them, but it was nothing but mud Ew. around it. So, like, like muddy sand. So, like, you you're, you would have been fucked up anyway. I thought this was supposed to be, like, one of the top tier, like, nicer beaches, right? Instead, it's just Newport cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Newport 100s. <laughs> 100, dude. <laughs> Newport cigarettes. It was very man. clean, though. It was clean. It was very clean. Sure. Yeah. It was clean, man. It, w- it was just, uh, the bathrooms were pretty clean, too. It was just, really. It was just the whole shower situation. Yeah. I really had to take a shit, too. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, I didn't, oh, yeah. didn't want to shit in the fucking, in the beach in the bathrooms, because once. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, that's once, crazy. One time I shit in the beach bathroom, and someone walked in on me, and then, and I had to like pretend like remember that one picture the yeah, meme uh-huh. I felt like I had to do that. Luckily the door was like hella close to me, so all I did was this. <laughs> just push the fucking door. Shit in on a steel like yeah. like like in prison, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that shit sucks. I put hella toilet paper on it. It was nasty. Smell like shit. How many sand yeah. on the floor? <clears throat> how many yeah. how many paper um, toilet seats do you guys put on to feel safe when you're in public? Put liners. Two. Put two. Um, I just use one. Yeah, I use a couple of them. If I, the what, seat is wet, I, first I like dry it up with toilet yeah, paper. I try and I throw on two. It's crazy to think yeah. how much safety those liners really make you, really give you, right? Right. Because <clears throat> we don't know how clean those are either. It's like yeah. a toilet seat condom. Yeah. I went to a bathroom that had like a, uh, it had a permanent plastic thing around the seat. And when you're done using it, you hit a button, it goes. Oh, wow. and then it generates a new, a new one. Yeah, but I'm like, where's it going? And where's this new stuff coming from? <clears throat> where was this? Yeah. Uh, where was it? Oh, is that this Italian restaurant? 
uh, me and uh, Shake and Frank carb loaded at. Damn. I don't want to say nothing, but their name is because. Got it. They're, in they case, might be in case, mob related. Yeah, you know, in case like. That's not how you're supposed to use toilets, or maybe I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I don't know. You giving away secrets? Uh, hey, this shit was next level, man. But yeah. I don't know how clean it is. Like, right? Where is it. it coming from? Yeah. It's just like it's like <clears throat> silverware at restaurants. Like, we don't know how clean those are, but we trust yeah. the the fact yeah. that it's in a nice little napkin. This is clean. Yeah, or whatever if, that means. As long as it doesn't have like stains on it, like watermarks or whatever, yeah. I'm I'm gonna trust it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, clean is a mentality. You gotta, you gotta trust, man. <clears throat> you gotta trust, man. I know, but that's crazy. It's just crazy how much trust we put in these things, like napkins. Uh, another yeah. one, napkin. Like we, you take a fresh napkin out the, out the plastic. You're like, oh, I'm about to wipe my whole face with this. But you don't know how yeah, clean that facts. is. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Someone had to pack it. Someone had to. It, that shit came from the factory. Yeah, someone had to. pack You think it. they were wearing yeah. gloves? Hell no. Even if no one did touch it, that means it's full of like fumes. Right. Yeah. And even if they were wearing gloves, Plastic think about the particles. think about the gloves. Chemicals. It's endless, dude. It's endless. I see why people are germaphobes, dude. Yeah, because yeah, you just could go on a never ending are you, whoa. You're a germaphobe? I'm oh, germ. germ. Yeah. He's germ. <laughs> <laughs> He's germ, man. I'm germ. And I'm scared of him. Yeah. <laughs> so after the beach we went to um South Coast South Plaza. South Coast Plaza, the mall. Dude, that place is huge. It's huge. Yeah. Bro, you didn't even see half of it. Yeah. That mall no, is clean we, as fuck, too. We drove around that bitch like four yeah. times. Oh, really? Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Parking was such a... Bruh, that was crazy. Cause, and the GPS was trying to take us to a whole different spot each and every single time. Yeah, because uh, Germ hit you like, where'd y'all park? And you're like, yeah. oh, just go by Dintai Fung. Yeah. yeah. So in the car, I'm just doing like my little Dintai Fung remixes. And then it led <laughs> us to... The freeway side, which is not where Din Tai Fung yeah. was. Yeah, you had to kind of go onto the street side. So then we went back into the <clears throat> maze and it had to cut through the whole parking lot for four times. And we finally got there and you guys are like, oh, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, I was just making fun of her. Yeah. <laughs> for burping? <laughs> no, he just made this face. He cleared my throat. <laughs> and then he did it on the mic and he was like, <laughs> anyways uh the mall is as big as fuck we went to uniqlo because everybody wanted to go to uniqlo because we don't have one it's like a national treasure for all of us <laughs> yeah, for us here, yeah. 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 Uh, so it was really cool what'd y'all get i didn't get anything from uniqlo there was nothing you wanted nah i got these pants oh, oh nice sick. oh nice yeah. congratulations man you look good in those pants too they yeah. feel good man yeah. you got that shirt jim no 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 i got a i got some uh small and medium uh, shirts because I always wear like large or extra large shirts oh, okay. and I want to switch it up for the one time so I got a small and medium plain white tee which are like they're like summer proof or some shit air cooled whatever I'm curious to see how yeah. small is gonna yeah. look on you yeah man what are you yeah. trying to what you, yeah what you about to do dog? yeah man what I want to I want to look buff bro oh, okay I'm trying to look good in Miami you know what I'm saying oh, oh you're about to wear a small yeah, Miami. Wear a small oh, Miami okay because it's like it's made because this is a pro club you know pro clubs are thick yeah and heavy it can get kind of high I'm not gonna wear that shit out there yeah you're either so, gonna look buff or you're gonna look like a baby yeah one of those man we'll see what's up <laughs> you look like them dudes at the club that wear like the really tight shirts yeah, huh? yeah. there's no yeah. collar or nothing it's just a really, just a tight, really shirt. tight shirt dude probably <laughs> tucked into their leather pants you have no leather collar? pants. Yeah, I, I should. I want to get some actually. I think that's worth get, it. Yeah. I've always wanted. You got leather pants? I don't have leather pants now, but I think I think having a pair is worth it. <laughs> yeah, I really want to. Try yeah, you some. never know when you gonna pull them out. Yeah, I want to feel like a rock star in some leather pants. Yeah, uh-huh. <clears throat> I got nice. these pants. You guys like them? Oh yeah, yeah. I was looking at those. You got earlier, those pants? Man. Yeah, I got these pants at the at the clothes store. Fucking nice, yeah, man. From the women's section. Did you get the deal? The seventy percent off or something? What? No. What? Seventy <laughs> no, percent off section? Nah, man. It was what? like they were saying something on the intercom, like attention all Uniqlo Pasa does. Pasa uh, does. Yeah. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> attention all Uniqlo Pasa does. Man, you are not good right now, dude. <laughs> you are not good at all. <laughs> Yo, you need to tighten up, B. You need to tighten up, or it's about to not be good. <laughs> My boy is obliterated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, man, nah. Tighten up, man. <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday. Let's you cut him a break. Nah, but um, what you call? Uh, they said something about if you spend seventy five dollars, you get to use like you get the ten dollars off or something. Oh, okay, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Nah, I didn't get it. To answer your question, I didn't get it. Nah, all right. See, <laughs> so yeah, we went to unique. <laughs> you need to tighten up, bro. You're fucking me up. 
<laughs> thrown uh, off. <laughs> so we were sitting. So I, it was funny because I was sitting outside waiting for everybody, right? And this dude is like, he, we like, we lock eyes, and he starts smiling. So I started smiling at him, and then he like turns to his homie. And he like smiles at his homie, and then now like I'm just looking at him and his homie smiling at me. Like they're kind of far, so Ooh. this whole thing is happening as they're approaching me. Oh, yeah. And then he like passes me, and he's like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna do it." So I was like, "Wait, does that mean like did he know who I was, or like did I did I used to know who that was, and I just forgot, and I didn't get to say his name? Did I used to? <laughs> so uh, well, he's he trying let, to rob you, so or yeah, or he's trying yeah. to rob, fuck. That'd be okay, weird. Okay, You're yeah. smiling at the dude. You about to rob? Oh, I mean, yeah. I guess you never know, man. <laughs> look, I look like a quick lick. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, here go. <laughs> I'm gonna lick this dude. <laughs> Jay knows what it means. Um, <laughs> Cause you know, there might be somebody in the comments like explaining what it means. They're like mansplaining it to me. Like, right. come on. Yeah. I'm a man too. Yeah. All right. Anyways, so they pass and then Merz meets up with me and me and Merz are chopping it up about something and the dude comes back and he's like, Yo, are you guys from the Family Mar podcast? And I was like, Oh shit, he recognizes us from the podcast. That's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um so then we started talking to him, talking to him, him and his homie, and he's talking about how he wants to start a podcast. And then we end up wanting to take a picture, and then Jay comes out and I was like, Oh, this is Jay's opportunity to finally get recognized. Recognized. Yeah, but it wasn't really like the moment you wanted. Yeah. Like you wanted really, an actual like full experience, like a solo. No, I walked in on you guys getting yeah. recognized. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I wasn't supposed to be there. Right. It felt yeah. like, and then Merz is like, "Yo, Jay, come on, get in the pick." And I'm like, "I think he just wants it with you guys, dude." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, it was. Well, who? Nah, man. It's like I walked in on a more intimate situation, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then we just tried to include you because yeah, we just felt bad. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I came along with the, on the trip. Yo, we brought our cousin. Yeah, with my cousin. Man. Can my cousin, can my cousin, take cousin a, get, get in? Yeah, can my cousin come? <laughs> so yeah, we took a picture. Of, I I can't remember the dude's name. Uh, I apologize. Um, I thought it was Danny. Not, mm, my bad. Damn, not. I forgot his name too. Oh, man, me too. Fuck. Well, either way, thank you to the dude that came up to us at the South Coast Plaza Mall. We appreciate you. You and the homie. Hope you start that podcast that you were talking about. Yeah. I remember somebody coming up to us before and they were like, yo, I've been wanting to start a podcast. I want to do that shit too. And then I was yeah, like, man, man, you should do it. I always yeah. say the same thing. <laughs> just do it. The yeah. bullets, it's that simple though. Just fucking start yeah, one, bro. Just start one. Yeah, I'm going to try to enable everyone. <clears throat> yeah so that was really cool i was glad i, I was i'm glad that we got to share that experience together because yeah. we you know we have all these separate experiences but it's nice to have a shared one yeah yeah um yeah. so we did that and then we went up to we went to um riverside to go meet up with hooch and leche fellow patrons hooch is a lot bigger than i thought he would be really? a little bit on the taller man. side yeah oh yeah taller side yeah but yeah. man he looks fucking solid bro well, he I mean, motivated he is, me yeah. oh, he's solid. exactly he's, how i thought he was gonna be yeah. <sighs> even his shorts yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, none of this. This all played up to expectations, down to the blonde shirt. Yeah, yeah Hoochie man. Daddy shorts, right? That's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Is that why they call him? Is that why he calls himself Hooch? Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, I think I don't, I don't know the 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 origin Origins? story of it, oh, okay, but yeah, okay. it was nice to meet up with them. We went to yeah. go get some sushi, and this got me thinking. Yeah, right. We went to all you can eat sushi, and I mean this with no disrespect, but I'm just posing a question here: mm. Is all you can eat sushi? overrated or underrated what do you guys think i think after you're done eating it feels overrated mm. okay but, but the thought of it the when you're thought hungry of it is fucking fires that's true yeah. so underrated in thought overrated, overrated in execution in, yep. mm. should be what do you guys but think about that that, that sounds like it's rated properly then well i don't think you you could rate is it you experience something and after you think it's overrated but beforehand, you think it's underrated. So it's neutral. It's neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah it you just can't see yourself out. out. Yep. Is that? I don't know. Well, what, what do happens. you think? Well, let me hear your thoughts on it. Because you're a sushi connoisseur. My thoughts. Um, it can get bad real quick for sure. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, there's a delicate line you have to dance around. But if it's if it's good, then it's underrated. If it sucks, then it's overrated. I yeah. just feel like because we I feel like because we eat to the point where we're about to fucking blow up. Yeah. Yeah. So and then once once you get to that point, everything tastes nasty, and then that's when you're thinking, "Oh, this shit's this like is overrated. overrated." Yeah. But then it's my bad. Go ahead. I was gonna say like maybe if we just chilled chilled out a little bit, didn't eat to the point where we're gonna blow up. Maybe we'd like it a lot more. Yeah, but the thing Instead is, of fucking competing like, yo, I eat more than Mers, even though I do eat more than Mers. But <laughs> yeah, this dude counted. Yeah. <laughs> I counted forty. He's also years. eating like hella shit before. Was he? What was, what was I doing? You had the uh the the avocado toast. We all did actually. That shit was Are fire. you saying that he does eat more than you? Is that what you're is that what yeah. you're agreeing no, to? Nah, 
Nah, we all eat the same thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so nobody eats more than one person. Nah. Okay. We're pretty. Let's just say I had my own avocado toast. You had to share with. <laughs> oh. With nah, that. I had my own. Oh, I shared. Here mine. we go, man. I don't know, man. I didn't share all of it. Like you know, shared about here or there or something like that, but. Still ain't more than you. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Sushi, right? <laughs> yeah. I think I love sushi. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to. I'm not coming from a hateful place. I fucking yeah. love okay. sushi. I appreciate it. I appreciate the craftsmanship behind making great sushi. Um, but I've noticed that I appreciate it a lot more if I'm just paying all the cart. Mm. Right. If I'm paying fourteen dollars for a roll and a, you know a few dollars for hand roll here and there, um, I come out of that experience like oh that was way worth it i think i could see why because you're being a lot more decisive of when what you're ordering mm. like i know i'm about to order these bangers right versus like the all you can eat menu you're like let's see what this soft shell crab one's in for mm. and you're like mm-hmm. damn i hate and you're also crab. sharing it with other people yeah. so it's like you they, they're getting a role that you necessarily wouldn't order yeah. but yeah. i'm gonna eat it because i'm gonna help you out yeah like i guess i'll help you eat this one with pineapple for some reason <clears throat> right yeah I guess the move is to just order your own thing. And if you're trying to order a special roll, just order the half so you could eat all of it. Yeah. And you don't need help from the outside. Yeah. Fa- family share the the uh, nigiri parts. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Why did you guys do this to me? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't be doing those hand motions with what you're saying, dude. <laughs> Let me put this down. Look like you're in church right now. Bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could share the those <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah, you guys are making me double think everything. <laughs> I'm not making you do shit, dude. <laughs> you hit me with the whoa. I'm just... <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying? Anyways, man. I love sushi. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I so all, all, but, but all you can eat, though, what do you think? The ratio, the rating. I thought the um, one we got was fire compared to some yeah. of the ones here in town. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. You know what I think it was for me to, to for me to have this thought is because I ate a couple rolls with cream cheese in it, and I was like, "Why am I doing this?" Uh, like for y'all, that's probably got what it, it is. It, you know? So got for it. me, the um, where things start getting too crazy is when there's too much eel sauce on things. If yeah. I have too much eel sauce, like it fucks my whole Same. experience up, and you get it all over your plate, and yeah. then. Yeah, and it messes up the plate. Up, makes and it messes up your soy palette. sauce. Yeah. yeah, we need a fucking plate change, not a fucking grill change. <laughs> <laughs> this, shit, this shit was all over my fucking chopsticks, dude. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, your chopsticks yeah. were Yo. crazy. Yeah, that shit was like. It looks like you dipped your chopsticks in eel sauce and then put in every topping condiment they had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like hot Cheetos and shit. That shit was crazy. Yo, Merz was wilding, dude. He was like a toddler at the at the table. Yeah. Hey, I was hungry, dude. No, but, no, I got you. Yeah, but like to me, all right. I don't want to diss the sushi spot. I'm not dissing the sushi spot. The sushi spot was fire. <laughs> Loki, it sounds like we are. Yeah, it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like y'all hating. No, 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 no. I have one hate, one thing to hate on. Go ahead, Merz. Go ahead, Merz. Oh, go ahead. so I'm not hating on the sushi spot, but in the last like five or six all you can eat sessions, I've been leaving. I've been leaving the restaurant like, why did I do this? <laughs> so yeah. it's not really the sushi spot. It's me, obviously, because I'm the one eating, right? Putting the food in my mouth, but. I like I think all you can eat sushi can be overrated because a la carte sushi I feel like sometimes is fresher is better meat meat quality you know what I mean I think they're using the same fish I don't know man I've I've had some really good a la carte but like you said like the chefs because they don't have to like it's the they same don't, they don't chefs. have to keep making the same shit like in mass produce production I guess so like they put more time and effort into that one plate that they make. But it's the same chef. That. It's the the same chef that's giving you the a la carte. It's the same chef that's giving you the buffet sushi. Are oh, you talking about in the same restaurant? Yeah, you're talking about in the same restaurant. Oh, I'm you're talking, talking about, about in separate locations. Yeah, I'm talking about. Oh, like, you're talking like, about just a place that's not all you can eat and a place that is all you can eat. Yeah, like uh, exactly. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Mm, okay, I, I yeah, that's valid. I I yeah, I can yeah. see that. Like places that serve a la carte sushi and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that place I mean, was good though. Like, right? I, 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 loved I, it. I thought it was good. I think that I think the the real problem is when you, especially when you have a huge party like we did. We had yeah, how many people we had? Like thirteen people. <sighs> yeah, there was a ton of us. Yeah, there was a ton of us. So one person's getting a special role that maybe only they want. Yeah, but because it's in the middle, now everybody's digging in yeah. on it, and like the maybe like. Th- two or three people that are sharing it don't really like fuck with it yeah, that bro, heavy. I or- yeah, I ordered some rolls and like I never seen them, but right. then only to find out you guys had it this whole time. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I had some of your guys' shit. Yeah, I think it's. I think it really just comes down to ordering, right? I think yeah. you should just get what you want, 
yeah. That's why I have such a great time getting hand rolls for myself because I'm like, oh, this is just for me. Yeah, I get this bouquet of yeah. fish for myself. Right. <laughs> I, th- I th- also think, uh, and maybe this is also what you're alluding to, like if I end up ordering uh, the cream cheese thing yeah, and then I'm f- kind of forcing it on you, like, yo, help me out with this. And right. you're like, fuck, yeah. I don't even want the cream cheese thingy. Mm-hmm. So you're hating on that part of uh, yeah that's what okay so that's so maybe maybe saying over oh, like just putting a blanket statement of saying all you can eat sushi is overrated that's not fair the the part that sucks about the experience is when somebody orders it which is most of the time when somebody orders something they can't finish <clears throat> i'm thinking i'm thinking about th- a lot of people right now you order something you can't finish <laughs> And now you're looking left and right, like help me out. And if you don't, then you then you're seen as a criminal for not helping the table out. Yeah, like, yeah. this what? is I'm eating way more than you. Right. Like, that's why that whole thing comes up. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Okay, we that's finally why figured that out. Whole thing comes <laughs> let's up, so man. when we go to all you can eat places, let's not order for the table. Order yeah. for your damn self. Because Loki, yeah. we're saying I ate more than you because we're full. Right. We're not saying because we really could. Right. We're saying that to just be like, yo, I ate more than you. It's your yeah, turn. It's you your eat. turn. Right. But you're the one that but ordered the, one the cream that ordered cheese, the cream Philly, cheese. Yeah. Philly cheese cream cream roll. Yeah. That's the one I always get too. <laughs> I love yeah. a Philly yeah. roll, dude. Yeah. 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 Sorry, so man. Bad. It's messed up. It's just like the hand roll thing. If I ordered a hand roll, I ate half of it. I'm like, yo, you didn't even eat none of this shit. Yeah. Jessica was trying to do that to me the whole time. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, she was ordering everything and then just passing it to you after yeah. one bite. She ordered like a basket of jalapeno yeah. poppers and was like, here, have these. Dude, <laughs> the only thing she finishes is a Coke. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Bags, dude. Okay, well, that, I'm, I'm glad that we established that. Yeah. Just get whatever for yourself. So next time, no more family ordering style. Yeah, just do it yourself, bro. No, unless it's like nigiri. You know no, because even that, even that though gets dicey, especially later in the rounds. No, but that, but those are where people ask you ask, yo, who wants this? Who wants right, it? Right, nah, right. but I think if you just were like, you told the waiter, hey, let me get three, let me get three salmon, yeah, and he'll give you the three salmon, right? And then I'll get mine too. Jay will get his one. One. <laughs> <laughs> How, Damn, how do you? How, how come I'm just—it's just an example. <laughs> no, I, I think your examples are trying to be some part of truth. <laughs> no, hey man, if the shoe fits, fucking rock that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn, you dude. get the one. <laughs> dude, and we rock with it that way. Ass Cajun tuna and pepper tuna. Yeah, like, the pepper tuna was gas. That shit was so fire. I wish I just ate that the whole day. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think when I order rolls. I mostly double check to see if someone's going to share it with me. Yeah, me too. I, I, I normally always ask. I swear to God. I'd be like, yo, you anyone want? I always say it, bro. There's no way y'all can say that. I always say that. Anybody want to get this? And then usually him says, yeah. Jerem says yes to mostly everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, he couldn't have said yes this time. He was uh, across the world yeah, for this across one. Across the table. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to hate on. They didn't have space inside the restaurant for us well yeah, to be fair was, there's I it's mean, a big party bro, it's a like, big ass party. Was, like, i sat with my hot. legs like this because yeah. i didn't want to touch thighs with you know like people i don't really know I mean, like that it's kind of weird yeah even places but, here have a hard time accommodating yeah. more than seven yeah it's, it's a true. it's got to be a pain in the ass to it accommodate is, it for is, more than so seven. i'm not really tripping on them for that um but it's just like uh i guess the way they took the order like table one and table two Cause it, it brought into my mind, like I thought y'all were ordering a lot or like the same thing for your table so that it's all there. Um, it's just, it was just a messy experience a little bit. Just too many people. Yeah. But it was fun though. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was, fun. It was good, it was so man. Fun. It was good though. Yeah. But moving forward. Well, the thing every is, man for himself. Well, that's, I think that's the problem too though. Cause what? that's what I was thinking. So I was eating everything. <laughs> like everything that came out I just was eating that yeah, shit yeah you don't even know what you're eating anymore I don't even know like I forgot what I ordered half the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it looks like I forgot what I got and then I just you know unless it's like something real specific like muscles or some shit you know yeah. what I mean <laughs> that's hella specific yeah <laughs> anyways it was a great time and then we we went downtown uh, downtown Riverside Leche took us around you yes. know showed us some spots yeah man um, that was fun yeah I, that was fun had a good time doing that it was a fun trip, man. It was really cool to meet up with people that, again, like we always say, that we know from the internet, and then we feel like we know them already, yeah. and then coming into meeting them in person for the first time, it's like, oh, we're already homies. Yeah, that yeah, was there cool. There was like so. no 
awkwardness for of real. Anything yeah, it was really nice. Started. The only thing was awkward is my thighs. Oh, sitting at the table. Yeah, like yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't trying to touch thigh, tie to thigh to thigh. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. I feel you, man. Yeah. So hopefully we could do more of that. That'd be fun. It would be yeah. fun to meet up with people. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't have a solution for this, but I did want to be able to talk with them more. Yeah, like, that's that's the biggest dude. thing. I want to talk to Leche more and mm-hmm. stuff, but she was on the other side. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like we're there to like eat all we can. Real? You know, huh? there wasn't oh, you're talking room. about specifically at the restaurant? Well, restaurant and even at the bar. Yeah, I yeah. need to get talk to uh, Leche's dude like that. Yeah, I, I for think real. Here, after it's hearing just, like them converse, like they got into like MMA and stuff, I was like, damn, that yeah. must have been a fun like little yeah, area. We're talking right about, there. Yeah, we're talking about fights and anime. Yeah, we're point, talking yeah. about military fights, yeah. anime. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's just difficult when it's just a big party. You know, yeah. it's hard to like really get in like intimate conversations maybe with if people. If it was a circle table like in the Philippines, yeah. bro, yeah, they, they put table. everybody in a circle or table. Or maybe we could have like done the like seating arrangements a little bit better. We could have like like spread it spread ourselves better type shit or put all of us on one side yeah and it would have been yeah. like an interview panel yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll put all of us on one side yeah. like literally yeah. one side one side yeah, yeah. <laughs> would have been one-sided man yeah <laughs> Dude, that, it, I, I don't want to make it seem like we're shitting on the sushi joint the sushi was yeah. fire i just always like at the end when i'm full i'm just like fuck man yeah, yeah. i really could have just really enjoyed it if i just got a la carte yeah Years of practice, I've gotten really used to like knowing like okay, if I get like two more bites, I'm probably gonna be at the point of no return. Yeah. So, I just so you eat the least. Yep. Sure. <laughs> no, but see, the thing is with that is the theory that Merz was saying earlier is that when somebody can't finish their food, then they put it on you. Then you become like a trash can. So you've already passed the point of no return, and now somebody's asking something yeah. of you, like, "Yo, can you?" Were help people me out? putting it on you? Nah, we were putting it on Hooch. <laughs> and he was, For real? he didn't give a fuck. He was eating. And that's why I was like, man, we're good on this side. <laughs> yeah, Hooch definitely his cheat day, huh? Yeah, yeah and he for said sure. He was doing legs the next day. Yeah, for sure. But um, but my pops was doing it last night too. He was ordering oh like mad God. food when we're all already full and shit. Like, especially with beer. Yeah. Like, everyone's like, oh, I don't want to drink. He's like, let me get a beer. Like, <laughs> like. So yesterday was Merz's birthday. Happy belated to Merz if you haven't already, you know, if you haven't already greeted my guy. Appreciate y'all. Um, we celebrated at Korean barbecue, another all you can eat place. <laughs> Every and, year. And um, yeah, it was a good time, man. Yeah. That that was one was dope. fun. Yeah. It's because there wasn't that many people and we could control it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though everybody, yeah, your dad was just going wild. Yeah. He was ordering and steaks and then, like food for us too. I was like, yo. Yo, we yo, ordered this. Yeah, we haven't ate in thirty minutes, or y'all haven't ate in thirty minutes. I don't think they want anymore. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, but, that food was hella good. The meat was super juicy. Yeah, it was like really. Juicy yeah, I got the meat day. sweats this morning though, like crazy. Oh, did you? Yeah, I got the meat sweats too. I don't think I ever had meat sweats before, man. I don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't do that. Well, yeah, what like? That's just because we sweats? eat a lot. Yeah. Nah, fuck out of here. Me bro. and Wiz ate the most. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Jay definitely kept going, man. He like he even got some uh, wraps. Some lettuce wraps. Lettuce wraps. Because like, the play is don't eat rice. I don't eat rice. When we go you to train just, barbecue. You, you ate the whole rice. rice. Pa- you're right. Yeah, a little bit of it. Yeah. Rice paper, though. I'm, I'm rice all paper about. is so fucking good. That's yeah, so far. Yeah, rice paper is yeah. way more worth I'll it. I'll be killing the rice. Yeah. yeah. If you're new to like the KBBQ game, don't get rice. Get the lettuce wraps if they have it. Get the rice paper wraps if they had it. And don't get bulgogi. You germ yeah, loves bulgogi look, though, man. I think uh nah, I don't like the bulgogi over there. I like bulgogi at Kogi though. That shit's okay. fire. But Bulg- I don't like I don't like the bulgogi at Huaro. That shit was ass. I just don't like it because it's too sweet, man. I'm not really trying to eat sweet meat. Yeah. So even though that's <laughs> that steak had the had the uh Marinade? the the pineapple on it, yeah. but Ooh. it was just the right amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but bulgogi always has just way too much sauce for me. Yeah. Oh, like man, I like bulgogi, but at Korean barbecue, I'm good. And yeah. then you got to get a grill change for like a, this thing that's not worth it. And right. It's just yes. a whole thing. And then now you're yeah. filling up your stomach. You're like, man, I could have just had brisket with this instead. Yeah. <laughs> you were the whole time. You're like, I just wanted some brisket. Yeah. I just wanted some brisket. We ordered one. Okay. This, we ordered one brisket, finished that. I only had like three pieces of it. And then we started getting like a, a slew of other shit when I really, <laughs> I just wanted some brisket, but now I'm filling up my stomach with all this other stuff. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know. It's cool. I get it. I got to be a team player. It's not like you. Because I think my dad was ordering for the whole table. He was. Every time he ordered for him, 
he, they brought in another one for yeah. us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and we were like, yo, chill. Like, we already getting all this bagogi over here. How was your birthday? It was good, man. I did, um, I did what I wanted to do. What'd you want to do? Just nothing, really, but I did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know it make no sense. But, like, I got, you know, I got pampered up. I got my, my nails done, my feet, my toes, my hands. Okay. Um, yeah, got the massage, the feet massage. I mm. went up a little higher on the grade level. Because, what do you mean? Like on the on the on a the menu, there's like a pedicure menu. Oh, okay. And then I chose a little bit higher, like a deluxe version. You could choose Ooh. like a you could choose like a scent. What do you get? It comes with like an extra massage, like leg massage. Yeah. Bro, I fell asleep like twice, dude. Was it, wow. it was worth the massage? Hell yeah. Especially after riding like twenty miles. Yeah. yeah. I rode in the morning, yeah. So you got that, what else you do? And then I came here, was just working on shit here. Um, had lunch, you know, do my regular day. And then um I, I hit up Mikey because he was like, he been asking me, yo, what you going to do? What you going to do? Because he, you know, I was like, man, I really don't know, dog. Like, uh, I really, I really have no idea besides dinner. Because my thing was I didn't want to have to make no plans. Just want to kind of blow bag in the wind. And then Whoa. so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's my get man. a Katy Perry. Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to derail you. <laughs> nah, but he had just got off work, you know, so uh, it was right before we had dinner. I had a couple hours. I watched, watched Philly play. Okay. And uh, so we just, you know, because we lived like in the same neighborhood, basically. So like we just went to Water Street, watched a game. We drank. Um, shouts to Keith. Keith actually sent me uh, some bread to like get a drink. That's mm. tight. Yeah. So That's shouts sick. to Keith. So I got me a, a Hennessy Old Fashioned. Ooh. Okay. Watch Philly get their ass beat by like thirty. Smacked dude. against the the uh, the um, fucking Celtics. That was Damn. bad. And then our, I I was able to watch the first period of our game, the Golden Knights mm-hmm. and the Oilers. That was hella scoring in one quarter, bro. Period? It's like three yeah. to two, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Period. Yeah, it's like three to two, and then we we had the dinner. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. And I looked up with, with Goose. Like, uh, T was, uh, my boy T was like, he never really gets a chance to hang out because, you know, he got his kids with him all the time. He was like, yo, I'm off at Violet's Glen. And so they hit me up like five minutes before we were done. It was like, yo, we're at South Point, pull up. So, it's like, right, oh, let's do that's it. why you, you're talking about when we were eating at the dinner. You, yeah, the dinner. Pulled, yeah. Oh, okay. That's why you pulled up to South Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you, you guys doing? Just we did absolutely nothing but gamble, yeah, drank and gamble, drank a little bit. We gambled a little bit, and uh, really just sat there listening to this lady tell us how to like play the slot machines. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it a good time? It was cool, yeah. man. Yeah, like yeah. just chill. Like we really didn't do nothing crazy. Like it was really uneventful. Yeah. Like, Mers you know want I mean? some money. Oh yeah, off of Mers want some money. Jerry yeah. gave me 40 bucks. We hit the roulette table. I won. I hit like on one of the numbers and then I cashed out, gave Hell him his 40 yeah. back and took a dub. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, happy birthday, man. Thanks, We're guys. I'm glad you uh, got to celebrate the big beep. Yeah. 36. And, uh, okay. 36 Let's chambers. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. We up there, 36 dog. 36 chambers. That's I got to double that. check that. Is if, it 36? We're 36. Yeah, I think yeah. it is 36 okay. chambers. Yeah. Um, 36 mafia. Ooh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 36 Mafia. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we celebrated that. Earlier today, we actually met with um, our patrons. We have some tiers in our in our Patreon that uh, we meet with once a month. Yeah. And today's shout out to Keith, of course. Shout out to DeShields. And shout out to our new grandparent, Kev. Yeah, man. All the way over there in Norway. Yes. Shout out to you, my guy. Uh, we got to learn about him and being Norwegian and the fact that he's his dad is half Filipino um, and he has a, a f- 100% Filipino Lola. Yeah, that lives out there with him since since she was like 20, like 60 years in the game. Yeah, so yeah. it was it was just interesting to hear about his experience as a, um, what would he be? He'd be a half Filipino, Filipino Norwegian. Half Filipino Norwegian. Yeah, um, or like quarter Filipino, but still like you pretty much half. Yeah. Yeah. But it was cool to hear about experience, his experience and, and, and how similar his experience is to, to our ours. experience, even though there's many differences and like yeah. he lives a completely different life. There's still many similarities in being Filipino. And he, uh, you know, he had home cooked meals, Filipino home cooked meals made for him, um, which is nice. So he got connected to the culture that way. It was just really cool to learn about people that support us. Yeah, for real. You know? and he, we were learning about him and his and how he cleans um 
tanks for salmon. Salmon farm, yeah. Yeah, for a salmon farm, which I guess uh, apparently there's a huge population of salmon in Norway. I didn't know that. No, I mean, just a, a yeah. farm, though. Like, oh. So th- for like fish in general, you could get like wild caught mm-hmm. yeah. or like from the farm. Yeah, so they make them in the farm, basically. Oh, so they're... they're like a free-range chicken or a chicken. Got you. So they're probably... <laughs> the, those salmon were probably... Those salmons were probably born there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They weren't like out there in the wild. Correct. I wonder correct, what tastes correct. better. Wild? Or? Wild most of the time. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I like both, of course. I'm not trying to shit on like farm Can salmon. you taste the difference, you think? And no. No. <laughs> yeah. Like if they were to give you two salmon... <laughs> if, yeah, if they were to give you two salmon prepared the same way... Maybe I could taste the difference if I'm looking for it, but if I didn't know and it just said salmon on the menu, I'm going to be like... You know, you're not going to be like, this is wild. Yeah. <laughs> wild <Literally>. salmon. <laughs> also, for wild caught, I think there's a chance of uh, parasites in it, so... Yeah. Really? Be oh, careful. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Like, oh, if, it does, if it doesn't get um, stored the right way. Yeah. Oh. But it also got me thinking about... Um, cause you know, he, his, his Norwegian culture is very different from American culture, right? 100%, yeah. And I was wondering how much of a disconnect or connection there is between him and when he listens to the pod. Cause he was telling us he listens to the pod while he's like underwater cleaning the tanks and shit. Yeah. So I was wondering, I wonder how many times during a podcast during our specifically, is there a disconnect because we, we have a lot of American references, um, our accent. Or accent. I wonder how much of a disconnect there is, or maybe there isn't because he's so embedded in American culture. Because maybe that's all he consumes. It could be. Yeah, we we really don't know. Um, yeah. But like, just from us traveling to different parts of the world, I think American culture is definitely definitely like uh, woven through a lot of uh, different cultures' fabric, uh, especially now and nowadays. Yeah. But. Um, but it's also still very different. Like, like they might not know everything American culture. Like, you know, uh, they might just see know what they see on TV. But uh, maybe not even TV though. The internet exists. The internet, though. yeah, internet. So, right there, I don't think there's any ba- there's no barrier to learning about American culture right now. Nah, there's definitely no barrier. But I do think that their cultures are still completely different. Like, yeah. you know what I mean. So I um. There may be a, a small disconnect, but I don't think it'd be too difficult for people to find out what we talk about. What it is that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Just look it up. Yeah. But then there's slang too. Like it's hard to catch, you know, slang in America moves so fast, bro. Yeah. yeah but that's what true. makes uh, American, the American accent that much more interesting because we have our, our own slang. Yeah. Like that we use a lot compared to other maybe cultures that don't use as much slang. Right. Yeah. But I think again, you know, if you're, if all you consume is... Uh, American uh, if let's say you, all you consume is YouTube right and all the yeah. creators that you watch on YouTube are from America I feel like it'd be pretty easy to be as connected as as an American oh for sure you know and then there's us who speak a little bit differently from even what's on like American media content yeah right because we have our own like made up <laughs> language super made up in it and it's yeah it's yeah so shout out to Kev. Thank you for being our first grandparent. Shout out to all the yeah. patrons for it. Thank you for supporting us and helping us pay rent and helping us keep up, keep the lights on. We appreciate it. Patreon.com slash family art pod. If you want to support the boys and many thanks, many thanks. Yeah, if you want to get in on these, you know, monthly discord calls or not even discord, it's through Google me. If you want to get in on these, you know, sign up, man. Yeah. Sign up. There's only X amount of tiers available for these X calls. Amount of, yeah. <clears throat> X amount of spots. X amount of spots. Yeah. So like, um, you know, get in while you can because, you know, you got to wait till that person decides to hop Peace out. out yeah. 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 Um, Anything else happened this week that, that any notable things? El- <laughs> any other notable <laughs> things that happened this week? Yeah. Merz's birthday, um, Riverside trip. Everybody's been going to the gym. Really? Uh, yeah. We, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, all three of us have. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I was just trying to include you just in case. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Well, we've been going to the gym. <laughs> I only together? said that because I was out. I was out of commission for a week because I was sick, and I finally been back. So in the, you in were the rhythm. sick. Finally you're admitted. Like, le- yeah, you legitly. Well, were sick. it was. I thought it was allergies. Would you have? I don't know. COVID. Nah, Did I don't you think have a so. Fever? Nah, I had no fever. What's your symptoms? Um, my nose. I was just really congested. I think you just had allergies, bro. Yeah, it had to be allergies, yeah. right? Because because even like uh, uh some people close to us like they had severe allergies and they had to go to the doctor. Yeah, mine weren't that crazy, but yeah. I definitely got allergies right now. Like, they're every but day. I mean, what's hitting. the difference? What's 
the difference yeah, between being sick and having crazy allergies. You're still out of commission. <laughs> yeah. If, you have, if you're having allergies, that means you're just sick from the allergies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Facts. Like, yeah. if you got allergies, bro, bad enough, you're sick, bro. You're just yeah. sick. Yeah. It's the same shit. You're you're sneezing everywhere. You're coughing everywhere. Like you sound like this. Yeah. You but it's been I mean? nice to be back in the gym, back in my regular routine, uh, lifting weights, getting swole. Yeah. You know. I feel you, dog. Yeah. You trying to get like hooch? Hell yeah. I'm dude. just trying to get like a better me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You always got the answers, man. <laughs> you always got the answers, bro. I get it from you, bro. I nah, get it from, man, yeah, I would yeah, never yeah. say that. Oh, you wouldn't? You'd be like, yeah, yeah I'm trying to get like you. Yeah, I'm trying to get yeah, like you. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get like yeah, you. Yeah, next time somebody says that, I'm just going to say, no, nah, I'm not trying to get like you, man. I'm, I'm just trying to be the next Chris Puntzel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you not say their full name. That's so weird when people call it, refer, refer, to yeah. themselves, refer to themselves as their full name. Yeah. I'm the next J J Christopher Manipal. <laughs> the full joint, dude. Yo, I was thinking yesterday when we were singing Murr's Happy Birthday, how, for, at least for, let me speak for myself, because I know there's people out there that love singing Happy Birthday, but when I sing Happy Birthday, I cringe so hard. It's so, there's something about it that's weird. I also find it cringe, and it's weird because when I pe hear people sing it, I don't think that's cringe, but when I'm doing it, yeah, I when cringe. I'm exactly. doing it personally and I'm singing someone happy birthday, especially yeah. when have you ever seen a, a solo happy birthday to somebody like through oh, the phone? Yeah, that's like, weird, yeah, like Marilyn yeah. Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Wait, did she do that? Yeah, yeah she did that yeah, for to the, the president for the prezi, dude. Oh, like acapella? Yeah, yeah, just her. But she did it like sexy. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was that's kind of yeah, that's pretty cool. It was, yeah, like, it was JFK, right? I think so. I, didn't they have a thing? I think so. I feel man. like oh, they had a little shindig. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, before you got before you knew too much, you know. Before you yeah. knew too much and got clapped. Yeah. yeah. Click clack boom. Or dome to your cranium. Dome to your cranium. Chrome to your cranium. cranium. You know, anyways, Jiffy. I forgot what. I, oh, singing "Happy Birthday" is cringe. Yeah, I've just you know, it's just when I was singing it yesterday, I was like, man, this is weird. Yeah, this ain't me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime yeah. I sing "Happy Birthday," if I don't know the person, I'm just humming it. Like, so yeah. if you ever see me yeah. in a crowd singing "Happy Birthday," I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always saying it just so low, but to myself. Right? Yeah, like, you're not. You don't want anybody to hear. Yeah. It. But you know which version I don't mind like playing it up for is like at our family parties. Yeah. And we'll have like the first round of like, it's kind of cringy, like awkward. No one's on time. Regular happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. And then someone busts out the guitar and then it speeds up. Yeah. And then you want to start do doing the clap with it. Yeah. And like, yeah that's, I'm into yeah. that one. Yeah. That one's fire, dude. You want to do it real quick? Nah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Usually my dad be busting out yeah, that guitar, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It makes it, it, and, makes it and much then more do lively. Like three or four times. Yeah. 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 That you, shit is and, tight. Yeah, you just keep lead, lighting the candle again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just let me I'm, let me spit on the candle already. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yo, damn, yo, man, That's just dome up the candle. I think you should dome up the candle next time. Yeah, Fuck. to put it out. Yeah, it'd be good content. Yo. I think I'm gonna catch on fire, dude. <laughs> a little sucky, you sucky. Gotta tome, you got to deep throat it to put the lighter out. I mean, to put the fire out. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that'd be wild. I'm not good. I'm not. Yeah, suck on that John Wick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on that John, John Wick. Hey, yo, yo, speaking man. of John, I gotta, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch the new John Wick. Is there, there's, there's a new John Wick, right? It's number yeah, four, four John the final one. one. I gotta see it, man, because you know, Keanu's on his way out. Think yeah, so? Man. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I was just making nah. a bold claim whoa, there. That, yeah, that was, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, he's our national yeah, hero. Yeah, well, if, I mean, if this is his last John Wick, I gotta, you know. Okay, yeah, maybe you have a point. He's yeah, on I, better I, things. I think he might be back in the Matrix. Oh, oh really? That'd be. Oh, I mean, they just yeah. did a new one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was like maybe a year or two ago. Yeah, for Asian American Pacific Islander Month, shout out to Keanu Reeves. Is he? Yeah. Is he? Um, is he Asian? I think he's. Yeah, uh, I, think so. I think he's a Hapa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Was this is confirmed? I think he's half white, half Hawaiian. If you can confirm with me, Jerm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, riff, right. riff while I, I look, that. please. Yeah, but riff, I, I riff. swear on anything, he he is something. He's like, no, he's for, he's for sure. I think Asian he's Pacific adjacent. Islander. Yeah, one so, of those. Yeah, shout out to him because he's been carrying it. And yeah. uh, <clears throat> I've only seen the third John Wick in full, and I think for the first two, I just watched like the YouTube synopses. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. His mother is English, originating from Essex. His American father is from Hawaii and is of native Hawaiian. And is of and is of native Hawaiian, Chinese, English, Irish, and Portuguese descent. Sick. 
So he's a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Muddy, dude. Yeah. He's a little muddy. He's a little muddy. So yeah, I'm gonna go see the new John Wick. And if there's a new yeah. Matrix, I'd love. Yeah. Damn. Oh, damn. damn she went limp on me for a second. <laughs> limp biscuit. She went through the Matrix. Yeah. I gotta see Super Mario. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Oh, We've been talking gosh, about that for that so movie long. Movie is so. Yo, yeah. you guys gotta watch it. I, I still have to watch, watch Air. Watch it, yeah, I haven't watched Air yet. Oh what is, man. Oh, is that the Michael Jordan shit? I thought you would have been. Every time I get a chance to. Oh wait. Speaking of that. Didn't you get recognized the other day? Here we go. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy birthday Thanks, guys. To you. Thanks, guys. Yes, I did get recognized Let's the other day. Go, yes, dude. Finally, Congratulations, man. bro. So, uh, I, I've been getting in trouble at work for coming in late every day, right? Jeez. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's Damn. fine. And so I'm rushing to work and like I'm looking at my new uh, digital analog watch. I'm like, Phew, made it on time. Yeah. And I'm like a little gas. I'm saying hi to everyone that I know. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I get to the last person. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm not going to air you out if you want to be anonymous. I'm like, hey. <clears throat> and she goes, oh, hey, Jay. And she stops for a second. You know, I knew you looked familiar, dude. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> and I tried to play it off. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> She's like, you're from Family Mart. <laughs> oh, my That's goodness. so fire, dude. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, how long have you, has, have you, uh, been like feeling that I look familiar? She's like this whole time. And I've been working there for like a month now. Right. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, damn, it took a month to get recognized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. And it's not like you were telling people where you were at unless you yeah. were in a discord. That's the only way you knew. Yeah. That was like the only yeah, place. That so I, it's like, man. Yeah. She, and as the day went on, she, uh, was explaining, like, she thought that we were in California. Mm. Mm. Oh, we were based out there. Yeah. She thought we were in California for some reason. And I was like, well, if if you happen to take a better look at like our setup, like it looks just like a Vegas apartment. So yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to you. She's been watching for a couple months now. Oh, nice. The clips or the full pot. I'm always curious if people just watch clips or. So I'm also curious too, as far as like which one they saw first. And she was like, hmm, it's been like two months. And so I guessed it. I was like, oh, it's probably the Ocho Ocho video. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Wow. But I never want to ask because I'm never I'm never trying to put people on the spot of like, how much do you really support? Yeah. You know, yeah, or like, really, where yeah. do you re- like, where, what kind of stuff do you consume Yeah, I'm really good at us. like dancing around it to make it not seem so like pushy. But I was yeah. just like, yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. But, yeah. but tech now, and congratulations, first of all. Thank you. On getting recognized. But yeah. second I did, all, She didn't ask for a photo. Well, that's that's what I was gonna get into. <laughs> you still didn't. It still didn't happen because she didn't she happen. knew you as just regular ass Jay. She already knew. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she didn't. So you still got to check off the box with someone not knowing, <laughs> like not like you know, yo Jay. Yeah, it doesn't. It hasn't. It'll come, man. That's why it, it was like it, halfway. Right, you're a half. You're a hopper. <laughs> I'm a hopper. Hopper recognition. He's gonna get it, man. Get one, it one day, day man. One day. Man. You know what it is? It's a funny bit, dude. I want to see how long you keep going. Yeah, do you? Real. Or do no. you want to get the bit over with? Do you want to get it over with already? <laughs> I mean, I do have fun with the bit. Yeah. But I, and then I also want to get recognized. So it's like, there's a, it's a battle. Yeah. It's a battle. <laughs> the battle of Versailles. Yeah. <laughs> battle team. Well, congratulations. Here. Shout out to the girl. Uh, hopefully she's watching this and maybe she could see little old Jay, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's me. Uh, How's work going? It's cool. That's all. Uh, I mean, I don't want to. No, no, I know. Get too deep into work it. is work, huh? Work is work, work is work. Like, uh, uh, finally getting to know more coworkers. Like, I know your friend now. Yeah, uh, I don't to, know if he's watching it. But shout out to Garen. Shout out to Garen. Yeah. Uh, about it. Yeah. Work, work is work. Yeah. Work is work. Fire, man. Man. Is it getting easier or more more manageable? It's getting easier because I know how to pick and choose my my spots to work now. Mm, okay, Sick. I know when to take a break. You still feeling like a slave though? Oh, of course. Every day. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 crazy. that's what wild. happens when you work for the man, dude. Yeah, is it, man. Is it, does, does it ever weigh on you? What? Just working? Yeah. 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 Like I get home and I'm like, damn, I need one of those Merz leg massages. Because you're standing all day. Standing. Yeah, I feel no you. No sitting I'm allowed. moving. I'm moving all day. Like there's times where I, like I'm like drenched. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, wow. Just that's why, that's why you're looking a little slimmer. That's what I'm saying, well, dude. I, that's what I know you guys are talking about I'm in the gym and this and that and the third and I'm like, yeah. well, I'm not in the gym, but yeah, you in the sweatshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me Damn. about it. You could be losing a couple of LBs or, um, I haven't checked, Okay, and, but that's by design. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm telling myself because May. What's the it. day that we were said the the bet? I think May third is the day. Is it really? I don't know. I deleted it. I think so. it's May 11th. Oh, maybe it's May 13. Who's winning? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think no you guys idea. are trying to go in the other direction. <laughs> Who can gain the most? <laughs> I'm wearing women's pants. I'm winning, dude. I, I size down. Are you trying to say women are small? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Damn. Women's history month is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I keep losing, gaining, losing, gaining, losing, gaining. But is yeah. it like gradually going down? Is it like this? Yeah, lately, at least lately it down, has. Though. But before yeah. it was just, I was just reckless before. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. just trying to have a good time in life. Yeah, as long yeah. as it's looking like Bitcoin, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now so you're slowly going down. Yeah, I'm slowly going down. Or are you just go, staying in the same spot? No, 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 no. I'm slowly going down. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm finally, yeah. I'm finally in the negatives. Like before, I was just like going up away from the goal. Yeah. Yeah, so now. Well, yeah, you've been biking a whole lot, it sounds like. Yeah, just been more into the gym and then like try to eat a little bit better, more proportionate. <laughs> uh, we just rattled off two overextended all you can eat sessions <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to have a good time man. Yeah, besides yeah, those yeah, you know sure. there's a you know you kind of we, we work to those moments yeah you know yeah, we work yeah. to those moments. it's not every day bro it's not every it's day it's not every day bro <laughs> it's, not, it's <laughs> not every day and every day ain't, ain't, you know tomorrow you promise so that's just fuck if you live with that mindset <laughs> It's not every day, but tomorrow's not promised. So let's get it. Yeah, Dude, uh, I, yeah. I can't wait to see a slim you, slim hey, merge, bro. Slim I just, just want to. I just want to see you slimmed out, man. I want to feel like uh, I'm looking at my 18 year old Kuya. Well, he was he was hella slim during COVID. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was slim. I was like 25 it. pounds uh, lighter. Oh, yeah, damn. and yeah. he was bald. I was bald. Yeah, bald. Yeah, was bald. Uh, Maybe that's the secret. Being bald. Being bald will will help. You look really good, bald man. I think you look the best out of all of us being bald. Yeah, I'm not worried about that moment when it when it comes. I don't if, think it will it though. You got good. thick hair. You got a good set of you got a yeah, good set of strands on you. We'll see. Yeah, I have the I have thin hair, man. In the sun, you see my scalp like it's yeah. it's insane. You got your dad's hair, bro. Yeah, yeah. You got your whole dad's You're like a- hairstyle too. The your, your mannerisms. Yeah hairstyle too the look you're pretty much your dad every yeah. time you say that though i feel like it's a diss <laughs> How? No, you i don't know because everything do everything you say is a diss to me it's uh, that specifically like yo man you, and sometimes you just come up to me randomly man you look like your dad <laughs> you do be saying that yo <laughs> you guys are saying that to me at the airport like damn you look just like your dad oh you, but <laughs> well, that one no, though but that's yeah. and that's what i see with you like yeah. i say the same thing i saw with him i guess it's because i just push back against that yeah, you always do. Yeah, but that one, you were really looking yeah. like your dad, especially with the sp- salt and pepper hair. Yeah, and no glasses. And, yeah. yeah, as much as well, we try to resist being like our parents, the apple does not fall from that's true from the tree. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't. mean, where else? You know, that's where you came from. Unless you, you're, who else are you gonna look like? Unless you're grown on a hill, then you're rolling down, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> grown a hill, grown a hill, <laughs> grown a hill, dude. Let us spray. Grown a hill. You and your dad walk slow as fuck. <laughs> Like nah, just, I just think, slow moving. I, I think if it comes down to it, I'm the fastest regular walker. Hell nah. Only when you're mad. Y- y'all don't yeah. walk like me, dude. <laughs> we don't. We don't. You, walk <laughs> yeah, dude. you guys walk hella slow. I feel like well, we don't know. Where, we only we only I. So if we're talking about Japan specifically, it's only because we didn't know where we're going. Yeah, we know where we're going, dude. Mm, yeah. and I know that's what you're alluding to. Yeah, we we know. Well, that is what I had in mind, but you're right. Yeah, <laughs> and you were mad. I wasn't mad. Yeah, yeah, you weren't. No, nah, I was just and getting it, short on patience for if you have to lead everything. Hey, but who, I mean, who led? Who found those pants? What pants? You bought something from? Oh, those pants. Yeah. See, because you led, man. If it was, one are of you us not? Leading, a, are you not a leader? No, I don't mind leading. I'm just saying it, it. It gets tiring when you have to like lead all the time. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Sometimes you just want to be pulled. Yeah, like you know the feeling. Like Hell sometimes yeah, you got, just want to follow along. I began. I got pulled on the last uh, out of country trips, man. Yeah, it just gets. It just gets. Yeah, but think tiring. about think about it like this: we all experience that in some way or another. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not putting the blame on yeah. nobody. I was just yeah. saying I was I was tired, so that maybe yeah. made me short on patience. Yeah, yeah. Especially when we're like, yo, actually, can we go here? Yeah, then you're like, bro, like, oh, we we should have just dis- <laughs> we should have discussed that earlier. Like, yo, the whole know. the whole what's this joint? What's this? And you're like. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you really gonna care about this? Yeah, you don't care about this. 
It was a good time, man. It was. It was hella fun. Yeah. And it was funny. Yeah. No, nah, it was good, man. I, I, I enjoyed, like, I want to go back to Asia so bad, man. I just feel like uh, it's just crazy because that there's a side of the world that's, like, not European or American. There's an Asian <laughs> side of the world. The way you put things, man, it's just so. Yeah, that was poetic, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel me, though? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's just dope, man. <laughs> And then you top it off with this. It's just dope. It's dope, it's man. dope yeah, dude. dude. It's crazy and it's dope. It's fucking sick, man. All right, let's get into some questions. Yay. Uh, we only got two questions this week. One is from Keith. Shout out to Keith. He says, 30-year-old body with a 90-year-old mind or 90-year-old body with a 30-year-old mind. What are you guys choosing? Damn. 30-year-old body. With a 90-year-old mind. 30-year-old mm-hmm. body with a 90-year-old mind? You're just a regular old conservative at that point. <laughs> yeah. But I guess it depends on, like, what's the what kind of body are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, you're... You're still able. Are you? Yeah, but you but you think like an you think like a old person, like you can't do it anymore. No, I'm, I'm saying with the, with the 90-year-old body, like, what kind of body are we talking about? Because there's some 90-year-olds that are able, and then we got, you know more people like grandma that can't do as much as right. they wish they could i think i think you're still able but you're okay. just super you're old. still able okay but Got you it. do all, you're a little bit slower i would slower, assume slower all that yeah i'd rather be the nine-year-old mind and 30 year old body yeah i'm definitely i mean yeah, i'm, I'm sorry night uh you're always sorry nine-year-old body 30 <laughs> year old mind oh really wow wait now you're making me think because because I, I might be turning up a lot at, at 90 if i have that 30 year old mind and oh, you I mess, might be messing up your body. Yeah, doing some wild shit. And I might die in like 30 months or some shit. <laughs> God damn, dude. It's not bad, bro. It's pretty long. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's two, like two years, a little over two years, man. <laughs> two and a half years, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy's crazy, yo. He'll be 91 and some change, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 19. 30 months, man. 30 I don't months. know. That's, that's right. You're right. It's, I mean, nothing yeah. about that is wrong, but it's just to hear you say 30 months. It's funny. Anyways, I'd probably, I'd, I'd rather be a 30 year old body with a 90 year old mind. Yeah. Yeah, man. Give me that young body, dude. Yeah. yeah. Give me that young body. You might be wise as fuck. Yeah. You're wise. That's true. It's yeah. either you're that's really true. wise or you just fuck. Like, yeah. you got no more memory. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. That could be a see, part of it. See? So it's it's one of those. Damn, to be thirty with Alzheimer's. Yeah, that I was... feel like I'm, I feel like that's me already. God damn, Fuck, <laughs> man, forget shit, hella walking walking outside of the house, just go back in, just to grab something that I, I just think again. it'd be more frustrating to be ninety years old with a thirty year old mind. Yeah, because you'd think like I should right. be able to do. All I these could things. do this, yeah. but yeah. your body just won't let you do it. Yeah, you you can't go up the stairs by by like every two steps, even. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you think you can. I think you can. Yeah. And you I'd bust be, your shit. I'd just be thinking about General Iroh from fucking Avatar. He, no way he was 90. Because he dude. got that 30-year-old bod. He was oh, still yeah. ripped as fuck. He took his shirt off. He, he was kind of thick and ripped. Yeah. You know, I watched and that again wise. recently. And that guy had so many gems, dude. Bruh, exactly. So I would want the 30-year-old body and 90-year-old mind. Which thir- which 30-year-old body, though? I'm, well, I'm not 30 yet, so... <laughs> Doesn't it feel like you're gonna fall off a cliff at 30? Uh, no, <laughs> I did. I feel like I was gonna fall off a cliff. What, the only reason I'm mean? saying that is because I see you guys on the other side. Well, okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah we landed. Yeah, right. Like if I was the oldest, then I'd feel like I don't know well, what's about to happen. What's the cliff mean? <laughs> it's like uh, kind of like it. Well, at least physically, like it's all downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad that Damn. I don't think that though. I'm yeah, glad. I'm really glad because I think that's all what it's about. Because if you were thinking you're about to, it's all over from here, then it is all over from here. Right. Yeah. You just be dusty. Yeah. Man, that's what I was thinking. But as soon as I hit like turn thirty, it it completely changed. It was like, yeah. yo, actually, I'm still kind of like I'm just young. Like I'm still kind of young. Yeah. So I feel like I'm just getting started, man. Yeah. So. That's what I felt like. I'm just yeah. getting started. You know, I feel like that every year. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a great way. To, that's a great place to be. Yeah, if you could just think like that until you know until the end, just think, oh, I'm I'm just getting started. Yeah, until it starts feeling like I've been started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. Oh, I've been doing this. Yeah, yeah. That's how you. I mean, that's the old people, yeah. man. So you do thirty year old body, thirty year old. So I'm yeah. 90 year old body. Damn, I chose the oldest dude. Yeah, you're gonna be fucking yeah. wrinkly, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> 
No one's gonna fuck with you. <laughs> I'll fuck with y'all's answers, Yo, though. man. I'll fuck with y'all's answers. At least at 30, you still get it up. Yeah. And you can still smashables. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, man. If you're 90, you definitely have to see what happens with the blue chew. Yeah, because yeah. there's no way, dude. Sponsor the pod, dude. Sponsor yeah, the pod. you might need 10 blue chews at 90. Yeah. yeah. One for each year, a decade, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sheesh. Nine decades you're alive, bro. That's wild. Yeah. People That's a lot of months. now yeah. would have seen World War II. That's crazy. We seen COVID though. Oh yeah, huh? Good point. <laughs> I just compared World War II to COVID. <laughs> COVID thirty. <laughs> no, but that I mean that was a crazy time though. Yeah, yeah the whole world, dope, right? I mean, people down. weren't killing each other. I mean, yeah. I guess people were people were dying. Yeah, there's some shit going on. But um yeah, I guess it's not it's not really comparable. Anyways, <laughs> next question, last question. This is from Kayla. Shout out to Kayla from the Discord. She says, if you could have a documentary about your life, either all together or separately, what would you name it? First first name that came to mind is Passion of the Chris. If it was a solo documentary, <laughs> why are you laughing? Oh man, I can already see it. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm slaying it in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. The you beginning laughing? always has to start off at like like at a like a at more advanced point and then the next scene is like earlier days yeah right? yeah yeah yeah. isn't that your porn name <laughs> yeah <laughs> right passion of the crib let's keep it let's keep it pg here guys <laughs> yeah that's his only flans only flannels <laughs> that's why that's probably what it would be <laughs> passion of the crib all right man i'm dead i got many passions man that's good man yeah i'm that's burning that's good that's good what y'all got? I don't know. Ask Jay. Um, my solo one, and I was explaining to this, uh, I was explaining this earlier that unfortunately my name got taken by uh, a comedian, but mine would have been like Master of None. Mm. Okay. Let me think of a better one instead of a joke. Passion of the Chris is fire. Yeah, no, it's not as corny, good. dude. It's corny. No, it's, it's fire, it's, it's, dude. It's, it's, it's no, good. it's not because I, the first, I, it's the first thing I said, and you guys start laughing. Cause I thought it was your P name, bro. Yeah, I didn't know you was gonna use the porn video. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> you're fucking. I don't, bro. What? Yeah, he doesn't have a. Yeah, we're. It's He's a joke. Just, yeah, it's a it's joke. It's a joke. It's a running joke. It was a joke we had for a while. <clears throat> yeah, because we did the generator. Yeah. <laughs> right. We put that in. The, wait, is that even what it came from? I don't know. It's from like no, episode thirty or but something. But we were coming up with it when the generator was. Yeah. Doing it. yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. What would you guys? What would your? What would your doc? That's a good. That's a good title. Yeah, Master, Master of None. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Aziz and Zari already took it. Yeah, that's nah, fine. And y'all kind of the same. Yeah, you guys are both brown. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> that's, that's what he, he says. That's, that is what he sounds like. Right? He says that all the time too. Yeah. I'm from North oh, does Carolina. he? Like, what do you mean I'm supposed to know about Punjab culture? I'm from North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> Damn the p word. Poop no, I think that, that's not a slur. Oh, it's not. <laughs> no. Okay. What is that? Uh, of that's food. Very right? no. Oh, it's like a, a people of India. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I my believe. bad. My bad. If I'm, food. If I'm said, is that a correct? F- please feel free to correct. Yeah, me. my bad. I'm ignorant. It's all good. Yeah, that's probably that <laughs> probably my that shit. I'm that ignorant. Probably my, that probably my fucking documentary name. My bad. I'm, I'm ignorant. ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. It's just a guy that couldn't get it right. But he meant so well. Did he though? Did he? Did he, yeah. did he, did he did mean he, well? Did, did Don't he tell him. <laughs> That's funny, funny, dude. My fault. I'm ignorant. Oh my bad. I'm ignorant. <laughs> I think merge should be thirty months. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that'd be a good one. Thirty months, man. <laughs> Travel the world with MERS in 30 months. It's a long ass title. It's a long ass time, dude. I am not clicking on that. <laughs> no one's clicking on my shit on Netflix, bro. It's got the corniest, like, like fucking National Geographic photo you could ever find. Even though their photos are actually really good. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, my I don't bad. think they would mess great. you up. Yeah. I think they'll get you right. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to say it like that. I fuck with y'all. <laughs> but. <laughs> You mean you fuck with Nat Geo? Oh, right. yeah, yeah, I fuck with Nat Geo, man. Right, right, right. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, My bad, I'm ignorant is really good. Yeah, that's a funny <laughs> one, man. That's a good one. See, Passion of the Chris is good. Yeah, Passion of the Chris is fire, dude. I don't know, it man. Is, You're man. passionate about a lot of things. No, I am, but it's yeah. with the t- to call yourself passionate. 
Passion of the Chris. You don't like it's because you're you're naming it yourself. Yeah, but if it was like some other PR team making yeah. the thing for you, it would have been like, right, okay. right, right, right. Because of, if I'm naming by Chris Punzelon, yeah, <laughs> Passion of the Chris, Passion by of the Chris, Chris. by Chris <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, that's self acclaimed. Like that's like Mark by Mark Jacobs. That's fire, dude. Yeah, that is fire. And then I think he has Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs. Yeah, some shit like that. It's fire. Yeah, it's not bad. Narc Jacobs. Narc Jacobs, dude. <laughs> Narc Jacobs. <laughs> Fuck, man. He makes jackets just snitching on people, dude. <laughs> They're like wiretappable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think y'all could come up with a better one for me. If you could help me out, that'd All be right, great. Here, here, okay. Watch here, watch here, watch yeah, yeah. Formulate something. The grandma guy. <laughs> <laughs> right here, right here, right here, right here. Grandma's boy. Right here. Ooh, uh, grandma's boy. The under caretaker. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a good one, dude. I'll give you that. I'll, let's let's go with that. The under caretaker. <laughs> with the hand motion too, like reading yeah. rainbow. The over under caretaker. <laughs> over under caretaker. <laughs> Oh, the under caretaker, bro. That shit is so funny. Holy fuck. I'll take that one. Good shit, Jerm. Let's go. That was a good one, Jerm. Yeah, yeah. Gay. yeah I, I got nothing better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing better than that, man. Or I'd probably call it me and my Honda CRV or some shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that me I and my Clyde Cam. <laughs> My bad. Nobody even knows about the glide cam. Yeah, it's just yeah, y'all. Is that what it's good. called? A glide cam? Yeah, that's what the that's what the, like the universal name is for like a contraption like that. No, no, not a universal name. That's just that's literally the name of the company. Oh, glide cam. Oh, okay. What so what is it actually for people who are unaware of this? It's, it's a gimbal. It's just like a oh, it's a gimbal. Yeah. Mm. It's a steady cam. Stabilizer. A stabilizer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the manual joints. Yeah. It's this this motion right here. And now there's like automated ones. Yeah, but I think even back then they had like automatic automated ones. But you just wanted to go analog with it. Um, I think it was just a price thing at the like time. The well, actually, no, no, no. I think the, the creator, I, th- I forgot his name. I think his name is Devin something. He made that. He like, f- he was famous for using the glide cam. And I was like, wow, those shots are fire. Some guy, Casey Neistat or something. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. I don't even know what. <laughs> no, but there's. No, I was just being serious. There's a guy named Devin. I okay. forgot his name, but he's. I think he still uses the glide cam, like the actual glide cam. Fuck Damn. that dude's arm is must, must be hella. Oh buff. man, his right arm is so yeah, dude, buff because he's. Be, he carries heavy cameras on it. Oh, fuck. Is really buff. His hand got to yeah. be. Uh-huh. Wow, it's got to be. Yeah, he's, he's got great time. grip strength. Yeah, he's just. Like, I mean, you guys have tried it. It's heavy. You know, on the credits yeah. of like movies yeah. and TV shows, and it says like grip. Like, what are those positions? <sighs> I think the grip oh. is the guy that sets up the lights. So that's not lights. No. Like literally like the stands. I think that's the grip. I think so too. Oh, the yeah. guy that does the tape or something. I don't know. I forgot. You didn't learn this in I did. I just, I just don't remember right now. Mm. AV Club. AV Club. I was trying to, I forgot your, your degree's name. Visual media. Visual media. Visual media, yeah. Yeah, when I do see grip on the credits, I just think of them just doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, they just, yeah, like, just, just gripping. Grip. Like, they're just out there like this with the boom, like no fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. A grip is a technician who sets up, operates, and maintains the rigging and equipment that supports the camera. So not the lights. He sets up all the gear for the camera. Oh, okay. So like a tripod. Sure. If they're using a tripod for the shot, he'll he'll be the guy that, you know, runs that. Sets that. It up. Yeah. They're using a, you know, a dolly. He'll set it up. Yeah. Is Ugh. grips short for something? Is this Hollywood, abbreviation? man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, it's crazy how important that job is because you have to know like angles and, and yeah. how to set cameras up on specific things, instruments. So that way uh, they're used properly for the director. Yeah. Because they're going to give you the shot list and you got to be able to rig it up. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder how that like all these jobs come about or how they get filled. Like, does everyone just aspire to be a director and then it doesn't happen? So then they're like, you know, what? I'm cool being a grip. Yeah. No, I think, well, I know a lot of people that d- don't want to be a director at all. Cause they b- enjoy like not, they enjoy being part of the process, but they don't want to be leading. at the leading, you know, they yeah. don't want to lead. Yeah. It's too tiring for them. Right. Like I don't want to rap. I just want to en- engineer. Yeah. yeah. Same mm-hmm. thing. I also don't really know. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Fucking dead, dude. What you guys got going on for the rest of the day? Today, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good question. 
Anything exciting? I'm on the streets, man. Hit the streets? Yeah, I hit the streets and, you know. Do your thing? Yeah, do some dirty work. About to watch some uh, playoff hockey later. It's going to be exciting. Oh, what are you trying to watch? Uh, Kraken and Stars. Nice, man. Kraken's the new squad? Yeah, Kraken's the new Seattle squad. It's the first time in the playoffs, and they're looking solid, even though they lost to us all every time we played them in the yeah. regular season. But How are your NHL expansion teams just always good? Is it because they have a better system that uh, lets them have a better team than the rest? That's a good question. Well, they didn't make it to the playoffs last year, so... Okay, but they're in the playoffs this year, so you know. I'm just saying because in in comparison to the NBA, they have an expansion team. That team. What was the expansion team? Um, one of them Bob was the Cats Bobcats. Were one, yeah. Oh, and they were ass. Oh wow, Basura. Yeah, Luck of the draw, Basura. I guess. I yeah, I man, I, this this season of watching hockey, like I've watched every almost every night's game this season. Yeah, and like. I don't know. I, the the reason I love hockey so much is because it's nonstop action the whole time, and yeah. because goals are far and few between. Like you're not getting a goal every thirty seconds or every minute, like in basketball. Basketball, like you're back and forth. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of get numb to people scoring. You're like, oh, that's that's supposed to happen, but because right. you might not like teams might not score until like the third period, mm-hmm. and when you get that one, it's like soccer. When you get that one goal, it's yeah. like combustion yeah, yeah. it's way faster paced than soccer though, way faster paced because mm-hmm. yeah. it's a lot smaller of a, of a field i guess if you want to call it that um and when you get into playoff hockey and people just start hitting harder like hitting mm-hmm. on every play it just gets exciting so yeah you, you can tell people don't want to go home yet yeah they're like no we're advancing yeah, bro. i'm we're, trying to we're getting that fucking that cup yeah, but that's how it is in every in every sport right when the playoffs come that's when people really turn it up oh yeah 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 like Literally, basketball yeah. or like that's when the, you really see how this yeah, is why yeah. they are professionals right like all regular season like in the past few seasons of nba i haven't been paying attention at all regular season yeah but the moment is playoffs is like time to tap in because right. it's way more it's yeah. just way better dude yeah, yeah. they Everyone really takes turn the up. regular season off yeah, yeah. but you don't know it, who's gonna play right but it, you would think that they wouldn't though, because they want to play off spot, right? So you wouldn't would you think. wouldn't you think that they play a little, uh, give it a little bit more effort than they usually do? I th- well, I th- maybe home court doesn't matter as much as it used to. Mm. Nah, I think mm. what it is too is like uh, teams. Some teams know their outcome, you know, based on what they can see, like on the oh, like projections in the league. Yeah, like you know, like the uh, the whole thing with the Mavs, like kind of blowing that game so they could not make playoffs. Um. And they got fined for it by the NBA. Wait, they were trying to not make the playoffs? Yeah, so why? they sat Luka and they sat Kyrie. Or Luka just played one quarter or some shit. Well, why, why, why were they trying to miss playoffs? Because they would have had to give somebody a draft pick, like a high draft pick. It was like part of their uh, agreement. So they didn't, oh, want, they didn't want that to happen. Wow, because they yeah. really... Yeah, So, but if they lost, they would have got a draft pick, the higher draft pick. Damn, so they punted the whole season just for a draft pick? <laughs> yeah, That's pretty much. They punted the rest of the playoffs. And they saw that they probably couldn't match up to the big dogs. Yeah, they're That's like, not, we're going to lose anyway. So That's not fair for the fans. Yeah, it's exactly. really not. Yeah. That's very really like, not. That's why they got fanned. They got fanned. Fanned? fanned? <laughs> they got fined <laughs> for it. <laughs> I was serious too. That's why they got fined. <laughs> yeah. No, that's how they got fined. That's why they got fined for it. Can you prove that though? That they're throwing the game? Yeah, they they went through investigation, but everyone knew what they were doing because they were both healthy. They needed to win this game to make it to playoffs. Right, and they're they're the yeah, benching. But them. the big the biggest thing is the draft picks. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That they would hold it a draft pick higher than the opportunity of trying to make it to the finals. Exactly. Well, I guess if you don't believe in the team, or if you just really knew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's that bad. Or. You're trying to get Wemby next year. Try, that's what, yeah. Is, that, to get is who? that the thing? Wemby? Who's, is that a player? <laughs> yeah. Webin Yama is like the next Superstar. Thing. Oh, super man. tall dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, he has a tall ass name. But he plays like <laughs> yeah. a guard. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, he's nice with it. He's yeah. sick. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it sucks, but, you know. So are they still good? Are they still, do they still get the draft pick or was that part of the fine where they have to pay and they don't get the draft pick? No, I don't think, I think everything is still how it is. Because wow. of the, yeah, the way the record they was that, it was just a fine. I wonder if that was Nart Cubans doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard he was. I heard he wasn't. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he had to know, bro. That's his team. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't care. Man. He owns it. He owns it too, right? Yeah. Like, does he own yeah. the whole thing or just like just a part of it? 
Probably majority owner. Majority yeah, I owner. Think he's majority owner. Oh, okay, okay. That's crazy, bro. They threw the whole game, bro, just yeah, to, for a pick. Yeah. I just, just for bad. a chance next season. Yeah. I just feel bad for the fucking fans. Like, yeah. imagine the Golden Knights did that. You'd be pissed. Yeah, I'd be pissed, bro. Ooh, I'd yeah. be pissed yeah, if we're throwing dude. games so we could have somebody yeah. else next year because we didn't yeah, think. Dude. But unless you're watching the whole team the whole season, you're like, I don't know how we're about to make the playoffs. This team's ass. No, but they. You yeah. said they were. They like they just had to win and they would have made the playoffs, right? Yeah, but watching them, you don't. No one really thinks they're that good. I don't mm. think they're that good. But they I mean they had a potential spot. Yeah, but that don't mean it's gonna be a they could got swept. Like it could have been but for a business aspect, it just wasn't worth it for them. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, I guess it's hard for me to think about it like that. They're looking into the future like a lot of teams look like yeah. two, three years ahead of the top ahead yeah, of the Which game. I respect. I re- I respect management looking a future like, you know, because when we when we had a new head coach, like when we hired Bruce Cassidy yeah. to be our head coach and we fired Pete, like people were pissed. Yeah. But then, you know, Kelly McCriminal was saying, <laughs> he was saying, his name? no, Kelly McCrimmon, he was saying, oh. like, we're looking forward and we're trying to, you know, yeah. the, obviously their their best interest is for the team to win. Yeah, so they're going to do whatever it takes for the team to, it might not be now, they might be making an investment for the future. Yeah. But the fans always take the hit first. They're always like, man, what the fuck is going on, bro? Like, we're, I thought we we're trying to win. Now we're getting rid of all these people. I could see myself being like, yeah, let's just take a couple years off to rebuild. Yeah. Really? That must be tough though, going through a rebuild era, man. Yeah. I, when you I, have someone fire, yeah, yeah. Like talking about talking about like plan for the future, or like you see you see like a kid coming up that you know that you want um, for your team. I can't wait till y'all watch Air mm. because it's it's along that line, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait till y'all. I gotta see it. I gotta see it before it goes away. Yeah, I'll watch it again, man. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to disappear. Because <laughs> yeah. it's not going to be the same if you watch it. Like, if yeah, you watch yeah. it on a streaming service, you don't have the surround sound. Yeah. You don't got the nice seats. Yeah. I'm telling you, ever since COVID, man, I just want to watch more movies. I'm down to go yeah. watch it, man. Yeah, we should go after this. Let's go. I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Hey, I got to work, It's still your man. birthday. Oh, okay. It's nah. still your birthday. No, it's not. <laughs> you got to make some money. I got to hit these streets, man. Yeah. You, you, got, anything, you got anything going on later? Uh, Maybe watch Air. Mm. Nice. To be honest, I don't know. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> Germany. To be honest, uh, I might I might train later. If not training, I'll probably just go on a run. If n- no run, I'll probably fucking play some Hogwarts you, Legacy. You still lift weights? Dude, barely. I'm trying to do more push ups, sit ups, squats, and pull ups. Yeah. Trying to get back that back in the game, but yeah. not nah, barely. No lifting. I barely lift now. Sauna. Dude. Sauna. Psh- now that it's a little bit hotter probably not yeah i've been hitting the sauna it's been nice yeah. what's the difference for your body of like doing just the standard push-up sit-up regimen versus lifting weights i don't know that's a good question like does that it work you out question. differently like i feel like push-ups is more like a you got to use your entire body to function you got to use your core all that shit i feel like that's the same for benching no core you're like underneath the weight well, listen i'm not a yeah. personal trainer yeah, i don't know yeah. i've never studied but I think, to my understanding, the way to build muscle is through um, weightlifting. Through uh, resistance. What is it called? It's called something overload, mm. where you're where you're pr- slowly progressing weight over time. Mm. Got it. So with push-ups, progressive overload. Progressive. That's what it's called. Thank progressive you. Progressive overload. overload. I didn't know you were such a fucking. Yep. I'm just really smart. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Got that muscle memory. Why'd you laugh? <laughs> he doesn't even have muscle memory, dude. <laughs> nah, just. Uh... I would have not known that you know that. <laughs> so yes, prog- excuse my ignorance. My bad, I'm ignorant. <laughs> progressive overload. So I guess with push-ups, um, you could progressively overload. It would just take you a lot because if your body's used to 100 yeah. push-ups, then you're going to have to do 200, then 300, then 400, then 500. Yeah. Whereas weights, you could do five sets. You could do five reps of yeah. 225, and then next time you do 230, and then 240, yeah. and then 250. So I guess it'd be yeah. easier I also do to it more, work up. I do it more for like I an endurance thing. Yeah. Like I care more about endurance than everything else. Yeah. Okay. You're not really trying to uh, have muscle. No, I would love muscle. Like I would love to be looking like a ripped boxer, or UFC fighter. Yeah. But um, it's just like the important muscles that matter, and it's the endurance. Like, because especially when you're fighting, like you want to focus more on endurance than lifting weights and short reps and all that shit. Yeah. Man. So, I I get it. Yeah. Progressive overload. Progressive overload. Progressive yeah. overload, man. Also, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I I have heard the word though, and I feel yeah. like that's what it means. I always just try to protect myself a little bit. I don't want people to think that I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm just I'm just here, man. 
Yeah. You know, disclaimer for anyone made it this far. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. I don't <laughs> even know if that really wasn't a racial slur earlier. I have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, he might text Germ later to cut that. Like if this, if, <laughs> yeah, if it know, comes germ, out and, this, and it's bleeped, it's because I we googled it right after this yeah. to see. Cut. Well, the only thing we could Google it because fucking our Wi-Fi is down. Oh fucking my Cox. Gosh, dude. Cox, yeah, fucking Cox. step it up, bro. Step it up. Step it up. Even yeah. though, even Bigger though they, this is the first time they've ever like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, because our Wi-Fi be fucking up too at our house. Oh me really? Mer- yeah, me and Merge's home be yeah. our Wi-Fi be getting fucked. Well, this is the first time we've ever experienced an outage in this. Uh, apartment space, in the 12 yeah. months so you know we got to give it up to cox a little bit yeah Fuck. big up cox <laughs> fucking cucks hey, yo. Yeah. <laughs> anyways shout out to our ancestor Quia carlo thank you for being our first ever patron and our uh you know continuing to be one of the highest tiered patrons we appreciate it and if you want to sign up and get special shout outs or special access to us or even more importantly than all of that access to the best discord in the game patreon.com slash family pod FMP for life and we'll see you guys next week. Peace y'all. See ya. Peace.